Okay, well, my, um, since I've gotten the fat off in my own body, my next goal is, well, first off, the BMI index, oddly enough, still says that I'm overweight. I was obese before I started, mm -hmm. and it says I'm overweight. So my goal is to get down from about 159 to 150 or 155. Mm -hmm. And also, I hope to visit all the voters in Kane County before November 2nd, because I'm going to be running as an independent for Kane County board seat, currently held by longtime incumbent. Kathy hurled it, and it's time for a change. Well, you know what? When you go to these people's doors, they may not re recognize you from your last campaign efforts. And I would really like to thank you for being with us today. I think it was um, uh, amazing, and we all want to congratulate you for being Elgin's biggest winner yeah. and coming into first place. So, well, Laura, I can't thank you and George enough for. Um, in telling me about the contest and you for coaching me because without having someone coaching me that has done it and done it as phenomenally as you have with 130 pounds. Now 150. Okay, now 150. <laughs> I mean, that's everything. Not that I, I want to split that's, pounds here. <laughs> that's everything I needed because you knew what you were doing and what you were saying and all I had to do is follow your directions. You certainly I you did. I can't, I can't believe it and thank you for the testimonial thank and you. for all the people interested in Elgin's Biggest Loser or two. I hope you're mm -hmm. listening. Mm -hmm. um, you're listening to the Laura Dion Jones Show on WRMN 1410 AM. And if you've got something to say or if you want to ask any of our guests in the studio what their success, clues, tips to their success, please call in at 847-931-1410. And George has something to say? Laura, something that you've done privately but I wanted to do publicly okay. and something that Clarence alluded to. I wanted to thank a really, really special thank you to the Taylor YMCA and Elizabeth Davin. Your listeners out there should know that this is a really great community center. You walked in there with 35 contestants and asked for eight-week sponsorship package and, uh, packages and uh, uh, Elizabeth stepped up and uh, this is a place that's a really family-friendly place. Um, it's a place dedicated to a healthier lifestyle for all of its members regardless of race, gender, ethnicity and they should be acknowledged publicly and rewarded for the great things that they did. Go into any place, go into anywhere else and try to get eight weeks of free membership, free membership for yeah. 35 people. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. So really, I just wanted to make sure, and I know you've done this privately and I know you've done it publicly, but I just wanted to reinforce how wonderful this place is and what a great, great community contributor the uh, Taylor YMCA yeah, what, is and Elizabeth Davin herself, who's the uh, director. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the air, okay? Thank you, George. Thank you're up next. Elizabeth, come and take the hot seat here. Oh, you guys, come on, come around. I want to tell you, um, in the studio with us today is Noemi Hernandez, and she's a sixth grade teacher at Oak Hill Elementary in, don't tell me, Streamwood, and Lisa Eby, our second place winner, and today is Lisa Eby's 55th birthday. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> and Jessica G Gallardo, yeah. she's here in the studio with us, as is Michelle Mitchell. Bring your chairs over. Bring, come around. Come close, because I want you guys to jump in. And our our fifth place winner is Lori Nomalini, and she lost 22 pounds in eight weeks. But here's what's so special also about Lori is her son is 14. He was our youngest EBL, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. he, and I had the most concern about the two of them, mother and son, because mom is a chef at a school, and the son is 14 years old, going to be a senior, in, I mean, a, whatchamacallit, freshman, freshman in September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I knew that this, he really needed to get himself shaped up. And I told him he was going to have all the girls lined up around the block sure, by the time he gets there. So Christopher lost 24 pounds in eight weeks. And Mama Lori Nomalini lost 22 pounds in eight weeks. And so they were number four and number five. And... Um, I just want to say again, Wednesday, June 2nd, will be the registration and first official weigh-in of our uh, Elgin Biggest Loser 2 contest. The weigh-in is from 5 to 6 p.m. at the Taylor YMCA in McLean. And if you'd like to join in uh, the next EBL contest, call or email Laura Dion, jo oh, Dion Jones at AOL.com and let us know. And please tell everyone else that you know who might be interested in wanting to commit to get fit and lose all their unhealthy weight once and for all, so come join the EBL2 contest. Well, Laura, if you don't mind, I'd like to take a phone call right now at 847 It might kind of tie into what you just had to say about the new Elgin Biggest Loser coming okay, up. Okay, cool. So, you, would you mind? No. Okay, let's go to the phone lines. We'll talk with Kim. Good morning. Good afternoon, Kim. You're on the air with Laura Dion Jones. Hmm. 
Mm. Not good. Wow. Here's what I suggest. Um, I don't know if you have a good endocrinologist, but if you have a thyroid problem, you need to find a really good endocrinologist because that's one of the things I did at the beginning for myself in February of 2002. I was 317 pounds, and some friends found a good endocrinologist for me downtown at Northwestern. I happen to live down there. His name is Dr. Mark Stolar of Northwestern internists. I'm sure you guys have some great um, endocrinologists out here. If I were you, I would find the best one that you can find right now. And then what I would also do if I were you is I would either go on a modified Atkins, South Beach, South Beach, or The Zone. One of those three, pick one. They're all low carbohydrate diets. I would cut out white starch and sugar. In fact, here's where I was going with that whole thing about myself. I had a thyroid problem also that Stolar did find out about, you know. There are, because when he told me, I said, look, I had a plus size clothing design company from 86 to 98. That's all I hear is, you know, it's my glands, it's this, it's that, it's hormonal. So I never could use that as an excuse. Well, lo and behold, with me, I had, my thyroid was low and I overproduced insulin. So with Stolar's help, with some medication to control my insulin and to help my thyroid, I was able to drop 130 pounds in two and a half years by following a modified Atkins. That's why I'm telling you, find an endocrinologist and then tell him you want to go on a low-carb diet. If he tells you that's BS, then find another endocrinologist who will agree to supervise you on a low-carb diet. And if you can do 45 minutes on a treadmill a day, boost it up to an hour. Hour of cardio a day, drop the white starch and sugar. In fact, keep your carbs, 30 to 35 carbs a day. I have a book that you can buy. It's $9.95. It's a booklet. There's also another book called No More Fat Kids, written by a pediatric endocrinologist from Huntington, West Virginia, named Dr. Jamie Bales. And that would be my suggestion to you. First thing I would do is stop, cut the white starch and sugar prontito, find a good endocrinologist, and boost that cardio up to an hour a day, including Sundays, and call me back in three weeks. Call Dr. Laura back in three weeks and report <laughs> what happened. I want to hear I want to hear that you got a good doctor, that you cut white starch and sugar, and that your cardio is an hour a day. Nah, nah. Go find a real go find a no, 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 no. Find a real and thank you so much for calling. Okay, good luck. And she's invited to join the next Elgin. Oh, Project yes, you are, too. Thank sure. you for reminding me sure. that. Come, I would like to see her on. If you got of only 20 pounds to lose, come and share the camaraderie with everybody. This one's going to be a 12-weeker starting January 2nd. June. 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 June yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> right church, <laughs> wrong pew. June 2nd. <laughs> June 2nd. You are and a wonderful host. Can I tell you? Oh, that? You are look just who's here. Look who's here, my co-host Jeff Meyer. What's the seating capacity for the studio? You can come in. You can squeeze yeah. in. There's oh. a pic there's a chair over there. Just move that oh, purse. Just slide right, slide on up. Um, now that I've totally lost my train of thought, let's hear, let's hear from. Do we want to we want to all sing the praises of the Y though to, to Elizabeth. Elizabeth Davin, the director of the Taylor YMCA, is here, and they those folks stepped up to the plate and welcomed all the EBLs, the Elgin's Biggest Losers, to achieve their weight loss and wellness goals. We could not have done it without them, and like George said, they graciously gave eight week guest memberships to all the original EBLs so that no one would have an excuse why they couldn't lose weight because they couldn't do their weekly cardio, and so Elizabeth, tell us. Tell us what it was like having us at the Y <laughs> every Wednesday in your lobby doing sure. our weigh-ins and everything. Yeah. Well, there was definitely a lot more activity in the lobby on Wednesday nights and some <laughs> excitement there. Um, you know, it, I, it, it was really neat to see, you know, the first day when we came and registered everybody and were overwhelmed by the response and, you know, get everybody kind of oriented and, and, you know, you giving them their packets. Um, and then... It's been really neat to see everybody in the Y every day. And, you know, it's neat to walk around. You see them trying out group exercise or swimming in the pool with their kids, um, you know, and them working out together as pairs, which I think, you know, that, that support system that was created mm -hmm. there, not only on Wednesdays at the weigh-in with your, you know, communication with them and then their support they created with one another and, you know, connecting with each other. It was really um, neat for us to see. 
uh, we can't thank you enough. And um, I think we should talk to Lisa Eby next because she's the second place winner. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Snobhounds Canine Environmental Protection Wear, disguised as canine couture, snobhounds.com. And we'd also like to thank Casey Tool, a weekly sponsor of ours, um, and their tools are available through your Snap-on mobile tool distributors. And don't forget my motivational website, and blog at lauradionjones.com. And in the studio with us are the esteemed Elizabeth Davin, director of the Taylor YMCA, and Lisa Eby, Noemi Hernandez, Jessica Gallardo, Lori Nomalini, Michelle Mitchell, Jeff Myers, George Ronaldson, Mike Hunsinger. See, George hates when the studio is crowded, and I like when there's a crowd, so I'm sure I'm going to hear about this after. However, let's let's talk to Lisa and see what um, her impression of the uh, whole EBL thing was. Well, I am I lost a ton of weight, and uh, the whole point and the reason I joined is because I need to be accountable to someone other than myself, and a weekly weigh-in does that for me. Um, I've lost over 30 pounds several times in my life and my issue is keeping it off. Um, I think that I've learned and I shared with you Laura that during the entire eight week program not once did I think about having a blizzard at the end of it. <laughs> not once did I think about going and eating a whole pizza um, or doing any of the things that put me in that uh, predicament in the first place and it was a mind-changing experience and I understand that it's uh, a plan that I'm gonna have to work on for life. I'm gonna mm -hmm. have to do cardio every day. Mm -hmm. I was already a member of the YM. I love the YM. Um, I love the ease of the YM. Park, go in, do what you need to do. Shower, leave. Uh, it's so convenient. And I unfortunately had slipped to two or three times a week. Um, mm -hmm. now, I'm, now I'm exercising either um, walking outside or mm -hmm. at the Y seven days a week and I enjoy it. I enjoy the me time and I enjoy the results so I'm very pleased and um, would highly recommend Elgin's Biggest Loser 2 to anyone out there who needs some modification in their um, meal and exercise plans. And motivation. Way lots of motivation absolutely. Um, we received weekly, sometimes several times a week emails from Laura and um, she doesn't scold, <coughs> um, she doesn't make you feel bad, but she does tell it like it is. And uh, if you came in and said, gosh, I don't know why I didn't lose anything this week, <laughs> Laura would look at you and say, well, did you eat bread, pasta, potatoes, uh, you know, and, and she'd run down the list and they'd all go, mm, yeah. <laughs> And, and uh, the answer was obvious. And, and you know what? It's, the scale tells have, a story. The scale tells a story. We have to be accountable to ourselves, not just somebody else. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're listening to the Laura Dion Jones Show on WRMN, 1410 AM. And if you've got something to say or want to ask a question, call us at 847-931-1410. And I'm going to go out of uh, order here for one second. I want to talk to Noemi next. But first, I want to talk to Michelle Mitchell. Because little Michelita over here, we just couldn't figure out, wow, I'm eating fruit and vegetables and I have no idea what's going on. Then her friend comes and rats her out oh, <laughs> no. and says, well, it could be all that Miller Lite you're drinking. Uh, uh, yeah. And then I thought, oh, a light bulb went off in my head and I'm thinking fruits and vegetables. Okay, Toots, what are you eating exactly? Oh, I'm eating a ton of watermelon and pineapple, which are not on the approved list. Mm. So not that I want to scold you on the air here because you know I love you and That's thank okay. you so much for coming in. Today. I told you about the Miller Lite the whole time. Yeah, oh. not until Tammy ratted you out. But here's the thing: you gotta, you gotta get wrap your mind around the fact that watermelon and pineapple might be healthy fruits for some. For people like us who are more insulin sensitive, they are not. And so, by eating watermelon and pineapple, you sacrificed eight weeks of weight loss. Miller Every Lite, watermelon. Every weigh-in day, I was like watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Mm. Cause I'm like it's water, it's going through me. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah. Glycemic so I get index. there and I'm like, I gained point two. Oh, I gained point four. Mm -hmm. Oh, I lost point four. I was like, I stayed. You in the were same so frustrated, spot. and sometimes you were near near to tears. And I wish I would have really. I wish I had the time to thoroughly more question you at the beginning. Don't cry. <laughs> what are you? I'm not, get out of here. I'm You're not coming crying. to EBL too, you little. I so know. And so you you know now you know what the issue is. 